Welcome, subscribers and viewers, to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with exclusive backstage details as it concerns Daniel Bryan and Bad News Barrett. How the WWE is going to position them, what the WWE is going to do with them once they return, and what the focal point is going to be. How are they going to thrust them? Are they going to go in the main event? The, the, do the WWE have big plans lined up for them? Is Wade Barrett going to become Intercontinental Champion? Daniel Bryan become World Heavyweight Champion? The general feeling backstage is that once WWE brings back Bad News Barrett and Daniel Bryan, they will treat it as a delicate situation for the first few months and not overly thrust them into any major angles until WWE knows they are 100% and ready to go all the way. And there's more to this than meets the eye. There's more to this story. But first, let me just give my opinion on that first. Can you blame the WWE for wanting to see what leverage and see what kind of stamina and see what kind of um, progress they have made? The WWE doesn't just want to throw us Wade Barrett and Daniel Bryan back into main event contention. Because who's to say that if they get injured once again? The WWE is trying to look out for the well-being. The WWE looking out for the health. WWE want to make sure that, well, they can trust Wade Barrett and they can trust Daniel Bryan that they are 110%. And I can see why the WWE is doing this. It's a, it's a good move on, on their end. There is now rumors that upon Bryan and Barrett's return, WWE is tossing around the possibility of putting them in a tag team storyline. That way, each of them could avoid major injury since they won't be competing at a high singles level. Yet another great idea by the WWE powers that be. Because after having such a significant injury to Wade Barrett, after having such a traumatic injury to Daniel Bryan, you don't want to have these guys come back and go full bore all the way. You know, you've got to be able to take a few steps back before taking a few steps forward. And that's exactly what the WWE is doing here. And you know what? I think Wade Barrett and Daniel Bryan would make one hell of a great tag team. They would, you know, come together as a cohesive unit. And I think I can see a great world of a great future for those combatants. WWE wants to lessen the risk of Bryan and Barrett getting further injured in the future. So WWE may protect them to a certain degree. There is also talk that if Daniel Bryan goes on a high singles push, his moveset will be tuned way down. One source noted that WWE is concerned about what the future holds for Daniel Bryan. And you know what? Here's the thing about Daniel Bryan. Yes, there's been a lot of rumors and speculation about whether or not he'll even be able to return to the ring. And that, you know, instead of getting better, he's getting worse. And, you know, and his, his injury is, is, is just filled with all kinds of setbacks and detours. But Daniel Bryan has, bat has been battling an uphill challenge his whole career. Wade Barrett knows all about injuries. He's been battling them through the majority of his WWE career. This is nothing new. This is nothing new territory for them. They know what it's like to get back on top. They know what it takes to get where they want to go. It, they know what it takes to be a champion once again in the WWE. But, uh, you know, your comments and your opinions and what do you think about the pairing of Bad News Barrett and Daniel Bryan? Subscribe.